Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa appointed His Majesty's representative for charity and youth affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as Chairman of the Supreme Organizing Committee for His Majesty the King's Football Cup. His Highness Sheikh Nasser's appointment was an extension to the support and interest of His Majesty the King to develop the sports movement in Bahrain in general and football in particular, especially that His Highness Sheikh Nasser is always keen to provide outstanding initiatives that move the Bahraini sports to broader horizons of development and Bahrain's football game is a priority in his next strategy to compete at various regional and international events. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that the Noble Royal Trust is aimed to develop Bahrain's football sport and improve the Bahraini competitions, which will be a suitable place for the development of the national team. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that His Majesty's support to football games in Bahrain will be a great motivation to continue to implement a strategy of advancement and to create the appropriate atmosphere for its promotion and strong attendance on various occasions. His Highness said that we will begin to set realistic goals for the success of His Majesty's Football Cup as it will represent the best way to upgrade the competition in all respects. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said the committee will work to translate the World Trust into reality by developing the competition and making organization and administrative improvements to achieve competition among the participating teams commensurating with the prestigious name of the competition. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, led the royal team participating in Shanti Race in France. Many elite jockeys from the United Arab Emirates and countries are taking part in the race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that the participation of the royal team in the race comes to strengthen its status and gain more achievements. He added that the keenness to participate in respectable races at the European level reflects confidence in the skills and competency of Bahraini jockeys and horses. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that this race will further enhance the experience of the royal time and prepare it to participate in the World Endurance Championship, which will be held in the USA next September. His Highness Sheikh Nasser led the team to its last training session before participating in the race, where he briefed the team on the technical plan that will be adopted in the race. He also urged all team members to exert their utmost efforts to achieve positive results and prove Bahraini capabilities. Tunisian President Biji Qadi Sibsi received at Carthage Presidential Palace the Board of Trustees Chairman of the Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Study Dirasat, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, who conveyed to him the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and wishes of continued progress and prosperity to the Tunisian people. The Tunisian President asked Sheikh Abdullah to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his wishes of further progress and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. He underlined the deep-rooted historic fraternal relation between Bahrain and Tunisia and their growth in all fields. He recalled the successful visit he made to the Kingdom in January 2016, reiterating Tunisia's support to all measures taken by Bahrain to boost its security and stability. He also affirmed the solid ties binding the two brotherly countries in common keenness to further bolster them in all fields. 
The Tunisian president hailed cooperation between Tunisia Institute for Strategic Studies and Dirasat to cope with regional changes that require rallying ranks and joint action. For his part, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa expressed thanks to the Tunisian president for his keenness to bolster relations with Bahrain, commending bilateral cooperation between the two countries. He pointed out the role of the Arab intellectual centers in mapping out academic strategies to confront security challenges and foster moderation and tolerance.